Maybe their organization won't suck? Historic Lambeau Field fittingly it butts up against Lombardi Avenue here in the heart of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Today it's week three and we've got a good one in store as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Green Bay Packers. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Packer team as we interplay here. It's been a great start to the season, back to back. And becomes the first, yeah. So the football will be at the 25 <laughs> yard line as this offense gets set to take over. See, the best part is they don't even have to win a lot for it to become a first. He just has to play games. So if they suck, which they will probably suck. Have you seen their schedule? Charles, how do you think he ran? Look at the first four games. He definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better. And I'm definitely going to keep I got him going one and three in the first four. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33 yard line. Yeah. In the AFC, that's not enough. And this is third and two. Again, it's Dillon. And he's going to have the first down. I think they're going to be like an eight win team. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Now Dylan on the inside give. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And what? let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had yeah. to come into this game with the idea. Slow him down. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be a long afternoon. <laughs> and hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up from the 44-yard line. Here's second down and seven. Uh, that's pretty funny. From the gun, it's Dylan. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Oh! And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not. Yeah, that's the next word. <laughs> It's a real concentration when the ball's in the air. I'm not sure team. that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for us to play on it when that ball's up for grabs. <laughs> oh, that's Jalen Guyton. Goodbye. And this will hit just beyond the goal line. Andrew Bynum got burnt. So here come the same. Uh, pedophile? Trapper Not pedophile. Rapist? Or different? Not a reason. But... The last series form a little disappointing. Forced to punt. Uh, and now they'll try to do better here. Yeah. With some points as they begin this drive. Oh, McFadden's hurt. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. Mari Slayer. The shot? I know. Christian Watson. His second touchdown on the season. Harrison Smith. So now this offense will take over and I didn't know he was still in the Vikings. I thought he got cut or something. Oh no, he resigned, didn't he? Off the play fake love. Josh Palmer. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. A really good pick up. How's it going? The goal for any offense versus his defense. Find the holes where guys are available. And put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfect. Austin Ackler, five for 53. Chicago. Chicago versus Kansas City is awful. Two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 27. Running up the middle, here's Dylan. It's a six yard. Yeah, there's a lot of pancakes this year. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, gotta like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely, pretty good. Mike Williams, touchdown. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, I Justin right Herbert right. better have that ability to do the stupid Mahomes throw. That's complete to Dobbs. 
I thought it was a superstar ability. Pretty sure it's an ability. You need to be uh, a superstar or higher to do. Broke through the first contact, but ultimately stopped short of the goal line. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. One day. One day, Father. I was going to say, hey, my defense is doing well. And then I remembered, all right, Vikings. So back to live action. Let's see what this offense can do here on this play. I don't know. But uh, I know they don't have a running back anymore. First down, going to the air with love. I can't believe they let Dalvin Cook go. I do not. I've got a good friend in football always talks about predictive history. He's got one of their two touchdowns. You can understand why they tried to find him oh. again. Weren't able to connect. Do you remember it, Dippy? That was good. Do you remember? Do you remember, Dippy? The Dalvin Cook show? Do you remember, was that Madden 19 I played as Minnesota and had the Dalvin Cook go? Never. I remember. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. <laughs> Are you rooting for Aaron Rodgers? I'm not. No, I mean to win a Super Bowl. Nah. So we have reached halftime here in an 11 point count. And we will skip the highlight show yeah. this week. Get right back to this week three matchup. Welcome He's still a diva. The only thing he gets credit for is taking less money. I'll give him that. He decided to, like, give back, like, $30 million so they could sign Dalvin Cook and shit. After an excellent punt, this offense in a tough spot down inside their own five. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him now to this point. The last run got six, now second and four. Josh Palmer, touchdown. This is Dylan on the counter. The Vikings are bad. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. Are you sure? And will bring up a third and two more. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Play fake. Here's Love. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Oh, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he's... I haven't punted this year. Well, their defense did the job. They got the turnover on downs. Now, what can the offense do as they take possession? They'll yeah, I remember. The here on first down. Good luck. Black. I wish you the best. Right there. On the stop there defensively, Marcus May with the tackle. Green Bay, Wisconsin it, 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 is the spot. Third who's their starter? Oh, Derek Carr. Oh, glad you're with us. Where's Jameis? He'll rifle this one deep right side. Oh. Unfortunately, I thought Jameis had a shot. And it falls incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, it was not Jeff much Herbert. of a window to get Forgot the ball in there. And it winds up incomplete. People forget Herbert's got some wheels, too. Third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there. I, I didn't want him to run anyways. He got hurt. The only reason the Chargers like sucked last year is because he got hurt. Why does it want me to go? Oh, oh, because I didn't call a timeout. <laughs> no, it was halftime. 
I was like, weird. It didn't want to... Yeah, it didn't warn me or anything. I couldn't see the time. That kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward. I like Kyle Shanahan. On second down, another run for Dillon. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him. They scored another field goal. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss? Eckler has his ability. Love now. They'll set up a screen for Dillon. 14 for 101. He's not going to get to the marker as they stop him short at the 14. The screen good for six, but it's not enough as it leads to a fourth down. And his kick is good. I almost came down with that. Goes to 14 at 24 to 10. So golden field position there squandered as they can... About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Big stop on the turnover on downs to get the football back, and now it's just all about salting this one away. Yeah, just slowly bleed the clock away. Clock's definitely on your side. And, you know, when we talk about analytics in the game, what is this one? The advanced win metrics? Because if you take care of the football here, bleed the clock down, with about 95% chance of winning Oh, yeah, it? I'd say 95 or better. I, and I know you always say it. Every coach does. It's just protecting the football at this point. And knowing that the defensive guys, they're coming after the ball more than they are the person. They want to knock it free. Looking for more there on first down. Austin Eckler, 15 for 107. So Austin Eckler is going to be my whole offense this year. On play action. Love to throw. He's probably going to die. Right side Poor Austin. He's the best. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting I'll draft one. That's all Fine. they care about right now. And he'll power ahead. Fine, I'll just draft a better one. Yards, second down coming up. <laughs> Ball right on the 50 yard line. Here's second down at seven. A give for Dylan running right. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him. I haven't had a single line. penalty. Holding hmm. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Marcus Davenport's a Viking. Trying to set the edge in the running game. Good to know. Trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands. I wouldn't say bust. He's an average player. It's going to set up a third and long, third and 15 to be exact. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. He didn't. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's caught by the rookie, Jaden Reed. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 34-yard line. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. 19 for 121. Austin Eckler was like, I can be MVP. Gross. Up the middle they run. Here's Dylan. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 157 to go in the ballgame. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And the offense is able to pounce on it inside the five-yard line. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. That one looks like he'll throw here. He's got Watson. It's caught. Touchdown, Packers. Four yards. I was about to say, Watson's got a lot of yards then, huh? <laughs> so now we're in the Earth. final this offense gets ready to take over. Ready, ready. They'll begin the drive with a run by Dillon. I was like, first 300 yard game, are you planning on just giving him all the yards? 70 yards rushing. Harrison Phillips is hurt now. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee? Man, I'm freezing the game. Why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you watch high school, college, or the NFL. 
Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra home bowl, home bowl. Untouched. Touchdown, Eckler. I <laughs> tried to run the clock, and he just, he just walked into the end zone. Thank you.